Hi there, this is Fixed It. This is one of the really attractive stamp swatches, but they're not standard with regards to changing the batteries. So here's how to change a battery in a stamp swatch. If we pick the watch up, you can see that it's got the front face, the strap, and then there is a plastic panel on the back. And what you need to do is to Put your thumbnails into these little catches at the side and then you should be able to comprise the back off. And now you turn the watch over and you can see you've just got the strap. So how come? Well the reason is, is that stamps use this really strange method of keeping the watch face on the strap by the way of some extremely sticky gunk. I suppose is what you could call it and what you need to do is grab the face quite firmly and then slowly but surely peel away the gunk try not to get your fingers on it because you want it to go back on if there's any left on the back when you're finished just put the two together and just do that to pick all the gunk off the reason being is you want the maximum amount of gunk on the strap when you finish. Now set the strap aside but don't put it in a place where it's going to fall over and go on the floor and pick up lots of dust and dirt because that will stop its ability to stick. Okay so let's move that out of the way somewhere safe and now what you're left with is the back and now what you need to do is to rotate the back so that the wind is at the bottom and this small little catch is at the top. And now what you need to do is to take a spike, this is just a, a blunt pin, and you need to then get it in that gap there and then push catch over. Do it in such a way that if you slip you don't stab yourself. So you want to be resting against the side and then applying pressure but you can stop. And as you can see it's not going to go anywhere. So just keep applying pressure to that and so it goes right to the other end. Now what you do is you rotate it round and you can then get underneath it and lift off the back and you're left with the watch showing its battery. The battery this watch uses is called an AG4 and you can often find them in these cheap cards. So there's the AG4, so we want one of these. What I tend to do with these cards is just open them enough to get the battery out. But sometimes what happens is you end up with the batteries all falling out. So another way of doing it is to get a pair of scissors and to cut the side. Again, watch you don't cut yourself, so keep your fingers out of the way. And what you need to do is to just get your scissors, sharp scissors, and just clip that and then work around. You're going to end up with a bit of a mess left over. But it saves you dropping all the batteries on the floor. And not being able to uh, pick them up or put them somewhere safe. The thing with these batteries is do not lose any. If a child or an animal eats one of these there is every chance they will die. Because as they break open they release horrible alkaline chemicals which you really don't want to ingest. Okay, so now what I want to do is to just lift that battery out. Place it down somewhere safe and as you can see all the batteries are still secure. And now put them away. Okay, quite often you'll also notice in these packs is that when the battery comes out it's all kind of dull and white and crispy. And the reason is, is quite often they leak alkaline. What I like to do is to take one of these alcohol wipes that contain isopropyl alcohol and use one of them to clean the battery. The reason for doing this is that the alcohol doesn't transmit electricity. So you won't short out the battery, but you can clean the battery. So we've got a wet swab here. You can put it down and then rub the top of the battery on it don't use just water because it's not good for the battery and you could short out the battery and it will heat up so now we have a nice clean battery what we need to do then is just to take a sharp implement and to 
insert it just underneath the battery there's a little groove there okay and lift up and what will happen is the battery will come out now that battery went on the floor so before I do anything else I need to find it there's my dead battery and now what I'm going to do is to take a piece of sticky tape I don't need very much and I'm just going to make the battery safe so with a short piece of sticky tape turn the battery over and put the sticky tape over it so that the battery's in the middle like that and then fold the sticky tape over it doesn't have to be neat but it basically just seals the battery in there and then that battery can go into your battery bag in order to get thrown out and the reason for doing this is that when you put a lot of batteries in a bag you want to make sure that they can't contact with each other and potentially start a fire so there we go there's the dead battery and it's sealed in plastic i also know that that battery is now rubbish now what i need to do is to get the battery that i cleaned and now i want to turn the watch around so that the lever which you can see there is facing away from me and I take the battery and I turn the battery so that the circle on the top is facing down so you can see the back and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move into the battery by pushing it this way underneath those two spikes okay so come we're coming from behind there's the battery and now I'm going to push it down and forward and that's it the battery's in so now if we spin the watch over we have a ticking second hand I always love it when it works so what we want to do is to turn the watch so that the winder is facing down and then place the back with the spike facing to the top like that Okay, and then we just reverse the process that we did before turn that to the side and then push that lever around and now the back is locked in place so there's the watch now take the watch take the watch and take the strap and you want the buckle on the strap to be at the top and you want to align the face so that it's in the middle of the goo okay so look at where it is like that and then line it up on the strap just gently push it together there you go and then just press it down and wiggle it about a bit Okay, now turn the watch over and take the plastic back and just lay it against there turn it back just look at it to see that it's roughly level it doesn't need to be perfect but it's kind of equally spaced on all sides and then press oh hang on let me just push that down because of the glue it can be a bit tricky and again and there we have it and it moved it moved while I was doing that so let me just take this off again don't need to take the watch off just take the back off okay the backs away and realign the back Okay, make sure it's roughly in the middle that's about it and then push down until all the sides have clicked in try not to push on the, the front lens too much and there it is now obviously you need to reset this it's now 2321 so let me just turn that so that's 23 and roughly 21 coming on 22 and there it is battery place watch back ready to wear if you haven't seen these watches before i'll put a link in the video in the description 
and you should go and check them out they're really really nice there's lots of different designs I hope you like the video please subscribe to the fixed it channel and check out my other videos there's lots of useful tips like this thanks for watching bye